Language learning is difficult, but it's not always because the language itself is hard. At least for me, since I've started this master's program here in Germany, it's been actually the other stuff with regards to language learning, the finding time, the dedication, the motivation, all of those have been more difficult than actually learning the languages themselves. I actually really enjoy that part, really do. It's just kind of hard to do sometimes. I encourage you to stick until the end of the video if you want to figure out what I'm doing to try and circumvent this issue in my life. But first, let's actually talk about why this is such a big issue for me at the moment, which I'm sure a lot of you can actually relate to. It's one of the most asked questions I actually get. It's how to find time for language learning. So let's dive in. So I started learning in about March 2021, German, this is, and then I moved to Munich for my master's program around September, end of September 2021. And it's been over a year now. And throughout this process, I haven't lost my motivation to learn German. I know I'm not posting as many update videos as I used to. It's not that my motivation is gone, it's just that all of my time is. The way my master's program is actually organized is we have to do obviously our lectures, our seminars, tutorials, etc. We have exams, obviously, but then we also have research projects because we have to do a thesis in our fourth semester. In order to pick a good lab for our thesis, we do three different research projects each about eight weeks, I mean, I've been 12 weeks just from, because of what I chose. And this structure doesn't really lend itself very well to have extra curricular activities. I wake up, I go to my lectures or I go to the lab and then I do the other one. I have a lecture in the morning, I go to the lab afterwards. If I have a lecture in the afternoon, I go to the lab first. And then when I come home, I sometimes go to the gym. I have to cook dinner, I have to do all the other house stuff, cleaning and everything. And then by the time I'm done all of that, I just collapse into bed. But despite all this, I have noticed that my German has gotten quite a lot better since the last time I posted. It seems a bit counterintuitive because I didn't actually list any activities about German learning or anything. That's because most of the time it's never a, I'm going to learn German for one hour in the evening or I'm going to wake up earlier and learn German for one hour in the morning. That's just not feasible for me at the moment. What is though is splitting it up throughout the day. And this is where I get into the actual workarounds that I've been implementing. I do know that a fair few of my subscribers learn German as well. That's how you found me from my other videos, but these do relate to every language. However, I will be taking German as an example for this. So in the morning when I am drinking my coffee, I typically try and watch a YouTube video, one of the channels that I've talked about before on the channel, sounds funny, or I do a link lesson or anything really, just something really quick in the morning where I don't really have to pay too much attention to. On my commute to either uni or the lab, I listen to a podcast, again, one of the ones that I've mentioned up here. That takes about 20, 25 minutes either way. So that's up to an hour of listening practice every day. And again, that one's really interesting because that's time that I would have wasted otherwise. I know not many of you actually would cycle to work depending on where you live. Uh, however, you can easily do this in the car Obviously not a link episode, I mean the podcast, or on a commute in any other public transport, really. By the way, not sponsored, but if you are thinking of cycling and want to listen to a podcast, I've got these earphones here that don't cover your, like, ear, ears, I guess, so that you can still hear cars and pedestrians and everything. So just, yeah, I'll link them in the description if you're interested. Unfortunately, I don't have any time to do actual study throughout uni or throughout work. When I'm cooking dinner or doing the washing or meal prepping or going to the gym, then I would listen to something in the background. And with between my sets in the gym, I have a link lesson open that I flick through. I, lead, I, I read one, uh, <laughs> one page and that typically is about a minute or so. So I do my next uh, set. Yeah, I don't know what people think when they look at me. Oh, well. <laughs> and then probably the most flexible part, I would say, is the evening. Sometimes you have energy, most of the times you don't, so it's good to have a few different options to choose from. You will obviously have to tailor this to yourself depending on what level you're at. For example, for Italian, I can't read a, a book before bed. I just don't have the vocab for that yet. But I do have Link and some other podcasts or YouTube video that I can watch. But at least for German, I have an option between just reading, reading this one currently, I also have Harry Potter on the audiobook if I just want to listen. I have the grammar book that I've been posting on my Instagram page to do as well. I don't have that here. Wait, one sec. This one, 
amazing. I'll link it in the description as well, but I absolutely love it. So if I have a little bit more energy in the evenings, then I typically try and do something with this. I also have my super boring black journal if I want to write anything that happened today or if I'm stressed about something. It does turn out that some of my days look completely different, language learning wise, than others do. Completely depending on my mood, effort, how tired I am. But one thing is clear that I try to do something, no matter how small, every day. Okay, so I know this video wasn't really a tutorial or an update or anything like that. I just had to get this out there because I feel like a lot of people are struggling with this at the moment, coming up to Christmas and everything. So I hope this helps at least some, to find some inspiration to try and implement language learning into your day in different ways unconventional ways. I hope everybody is doing well. I know it's been a long time. I still read the comments if you leave any and again if you want to follow me on Instagram I'm a little bit more active over there. Not that much though. Same issues time-wise but yeah that at least there you get a little bit more interaction from me but I'll try to be better. So till next time however long that may be.